Hello guys, my name is Kerry. Welcome to my channel. The focus of this lesson is British English versus American English. The mission for today's lesson is to state the British English name and American English name for each item. Can you do it? Of course you can. Let's try. Good luck. Let's go. In British English, it's called number plate. In American English, it's license plate. In British English, it's called pavement. In American English, it is sidewalk. In British English, it's petrol station. In American English, it's gas station. In British English, it's post box. In American English, it's mailbox. In British English, it's postman. In American English, it's mailman. In British English, it's public toilet. In American English, it's restroom. In British English, it's called pajamas. In American English, it is pajamas. Pajamas, 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 pajamas. Oh, that was difficult. This is called Q in British English. In American English, it's called line. In British English, this is called a railway. In American English, it's called railroad. In British English, this is called rubber. In American English, it's called eraser. In British English, this is called shop. In American English, it's called store.
in British English. These are called sweets. In American English, they are called candies. In British English, this is called tap. In American English, this is called faucet. In British English, this is called tin. In American English, it is called can. In British English, this is called torch. In American English, this is called flashlight. In British English, these are called trainers. In American English, these are called sneakers. In British English, this is called trolley. In American English, this is called shopping cart. In British English, these are called trousers. In American English, these are called pants. In British English, this is called underground. In American English, this is called subway. In British English, this is called vest. In American English, this is called undershirt. In British English, this is called waistcoat. In American English, this is called vest. In British English, this is called wardrobe. In American English, this is called closet. In British English, this is called wash basin. In American English, this is called sink. In British English, this is called windscreen. In American English, this is called windshield. In British English, this is called zip. In American English, this is called zipper. That's a close one. <laughs> All right, and we're finished. Mission accomplished. Did you learn anything new or anything surprising? Anything puzzling? 
If you did, please write it in the comment section. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to entertain them. I'm always happy to hear from you. Mwah! Thanks for watching, guys. It's clear that we've got some chemistry. <laughs> no one can stop us now. If you've got any questions about today's lessons or about any other topic, really, please write it in the comment section. I'll try my best to respond to them. And be sure to check out my other cool videos. There is always something to learn on my channel. Like, subscribe, and share my videos, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay glamorous. Bye, bye, bye. Mwah! Oh. <laughs>